Today, we're catching up with the homie himself, Cuesta, a.k.a. Dakar, as we catch up and start talking about all things family, babies, and new music. Welcome back to The Loft. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Good to be here. Listen, it has been too long. I was actually saying to Cuesta behind the scenes, Ukuti, You're ever since me. I started. Yeah, I'm going to expose you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing on? Because, sure. sir, yeah. ever since I started August 2018, sure. I have been trying to get this gentleman on this couch <laughs> tirelessly, but you know what? Uh, everything happens at the right time. Yeah, but anyway, I think I should just throw it out there. My apologies for, for letting you chase me for two years. It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> I mean, the people wanted you. So we're about to give the people what they want. Right, I mean, cool. we're going to get all up in your business, personal life galore. You went from being superstar rapper, you know, we were on every television screen. You we just couldn't get enough of you, yeah. to a full-on daddy mode. Yeah. You are such a family man, and I just love to say it, Mzansi, because what I love about this new generation of dads, especially black dads, mm. it's as if you're changing the script, changing the narrative. Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's automatically becoming that, but I'm not going to speak on behalf of all the dads and things. Hey, you know, people have their <laughs> own reasons for things. But, but generally, with me personally, it's, it's definitely a change in the narrative. I mean, I grew up around, you know, or amongst, you know, very many fatherless families, yeah. you know, um, and, and broken homes and things like that, you know. But I'm, not, I'm, I'm also not using it to kind of replace what, 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 what was happening. And I'm really just being in there because, you know, it's... I'm, I think the kids look at me as like, this guy should love me, love me, you know? Yeah, and yeah. I go... You're right. I do love you, love you. You know what I mean? So it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a responsibility thing more than a, I'm going to make this look cool. I'm going to yeah. make this look, you know, anything like that or for a good, you know, Fashion front cover moment. story. And mm. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's really applying yourself and, yeah. and, 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 and be, having done that, you, you know, you, you, you get on TV a lot less you know, when you're <laughs> really suppose. applying yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but what I love about you is that um, I suppose you are the guy that does it authentically, organically, and you do share quite a bit of yourself on social media. Mm. You share the family, you know, the girls. Maya Kula, congratulations Thank on you. the birth of new baby girl, Kenya. I mean, I think it's so cute to see, first of all, Kai being big sister. Yeah. Because that, I mean, is a dynamic on its own. <laughs> and then now having you and Yo-Yo becoming parents of two little girls. Mm. As a girl dad, what kind of values do you want to instill within the household? Um, you definitely are surrounded by ladies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it, 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 it's even how I grew up. Like, you really? know, I was always... my. my Coco, I was always around auntie, you know, my mother. I was just raised by women, you know. Yeah. And, and really, I just, well, first as a human being to just, you know, know herself very well, you know, to take time to kind of learn herself and, 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 and be stubborn about who she then finds out who she is, mm -hmm. you know, just be stubborn about that and, and don't really be shaken by the world, you know. Um, and, and, and really, obviously, I think the big one would be not to rely on anybody but herself because... Um, because the world is what the world is, you know, and, and it's messed up. And, and, and obviously out there, we, like I was saying, we have father, fatherless homes and we have gender-based violence and stuff like that. And, and you, you want her to be aware of that, you know, and, and, but you don't want her to, to live in fear, in fear yeah. you know. So, wow. so all those things, you know, we try and navigate that and, 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 and drill that into her head as much yeah. as possible. But yeah. also, um, yeah. within your relationship, I mean, a lot of South Africans don't know this, but I go way, way, way back with mm. Yolanda, who mm. is Usenzo Cuesta's wife. Mm. Now, honey, listen, we were best friends in primary school. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'll show you guys a picture of us growing up together. <laughs> and it. it's, just, it's just so lovely to see that you guys are just making this partnership exactly that. Um, mm. Not only are you, congratulations, recently celebrated an anniversary. Mm. Uh, first of all, are you romantic? <laughs> and secondly, how then do you take that partnership to make every element of your lives work? Um... No, I'm not romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at it, you know. No but, surprise. <clears throat> but I mean, I don't know. We're, we're, we're still trying to make it work, you know. Um, we're, we're, it's like the big thing for me is, is putting in deliberate effort into, into, into seeing stuff work. So I think we put in deliberate effort into keeping each other happy, you know, keeping each other working, mm -hmm. keeping each other in love, you know, keeping each other sane. You know, so we, we, we literally just work on that um, daily. So we, we, we have an open situation where we speak about everything. I like this, I don't like that, I didn't like this, you know. So um, those dynamics, because 
a lot of it is in people's eyes, you know, and it's easy for us to to then take whatever values that are in the comment section of whatever. Uh -huh. you know? But 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 really, we're, we're we're also a stubborn bunch, you know, and and we try really create our own sort of values and custom make what our home feels like, you know. So we, but it's it's obviously a constant learning. It, it's mm -hmm. we're still learning how to get it super super right. But you yeah, know, we're we on route. We're going there. I, I love mean, I that. thought I thought when we had our first born. Um, Ah, man, we got this kid thing. We've done this before, you know? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then Kenya came four months ago. It was an entirely different thing. They, <laughs> like say, it, they say you have one child, you have one. You have two, you have ten. Yes, this is exactly... <laughs> it, it was an entirely new thing. Like, Kenya, what do we do here? <laughs> you know? But, I mean, like I say, it's a yeah. consistent and constant learning and obviously a deliberately putting in effort. Another uh, anniversary that I have to give a nod to mm. is I believe in February, it was yeah. five years oh, yeah. since you last dropped an album, yeah. The Car 2. So number one, I mean, we are ready for it. <laughs> I mean, I've been tired. We are ready for it. Uh, you've got a new single out. Tell yeah. us all about it. Yeah, I mean, it's been five years. I'm, I, I, I mean, in the five years I've been in the studio though, you know, I've just been messing around, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, we did, I think, I think, an amazing, amazing sort of feat were were, were reached by 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 the cartoon, you know, amazing levels. Yeah. Um, but now I think I'm okay again to be a person in music, you know, in people's ears, you know. Um, I mean, I took that all in, and and people really showed love with the cartoon. They really, really made it their own, you know, um, which is which is something you don't take for granted, you know. Um, so. So yeah, but anyway, we're back making music, yeah, um, and the new single is called "Fire in the Ghetto," you know, um, and and really speaks about the song I wrote from like a, almost a frustrated place, you know, um, and love at the same time. It's like, uh, well, a frustrated place from for 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 the young black guy in the hood, you know, um, in the ghetto who I feel is 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 almost forgotten, or, or, or you know, it's just a plea of people in the ghetto who are saying, see us, we're here, we're dope at what we do, you know, we need the opportunity and this, that, but we're not asking for handouts, we're actually amazing. And while we're here, we love each other, we're really, you know, a, a community, we've built a community with this place that, that we're in now, and we're just saying, you know, we're here, fearlessly so, you know. A very powerful message I find, and now is the time to be having these conversations. I think that it's so timely, especially with the frustrations mm. that are evoked right now yeah. within the student rights. Yes. Um, everyone has a voice, everyone has something to say, mm -hmm. but it takes an exemplary person and talent like yourself to be able to be that mouthpiece yeah. because a lot of people don't know how to phrase it, they don't know how to say it, mm -hmm. they don't know how mm -hmm. to fight for themselves, but it's just so amazing for the rest of us, like Mzansi, I'll be that voice. You've always been a lyrical rapper, mm -hmm. um, so how important is you to be that person? I think it's, I've, 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 I've now found it to be almost like the purpose of my life, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's, it's, it, it was cool in the beginning, five years ago, seven years ago, you know, I really just wanted the cool stuff. You know, <laughs> like, you know I'm, I'm the hardest rapper out, you know. Um, but now it's, it's, it's really more a responsibility to, 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 to people, you know. How are you the, uh, why are you where you are, you know. Um, what, what, what comes with being Questa, you know. Uh, so I've taken... I've taken sort of an angle to look at my life and see responsibility and duty more than, you know, coolest out, you know what I mean? So, so really, it's, it's, it's an important thing for me. I mean, things like education, but it's, it's, it's also something I have to learn. I sit, I do, I, so I go to people who, who lead um, sort of communities or political parties or whatever the situation, or who are in education, I sit down with them and I go, what's going on? What is the issue? What is like on a real level conversation, you know? Um, and, and I have conversation about where should we be going? Who should we be? We, we have a problem with education. You see what's going on. What, how do we fight it? Who do we go at, you know? Where, where, where will it yield results? Because a lot of time we make noise, but to the wrong people and, and it's like, it, there's, no, there's no results. So yeah. you ask for it. So it's a thing I'm constantly doing to try and also teach myself to be able to, to rap about at least things that I already know, you know. Yeah, well, you know, a round of applause. I have to give it up to you right now. Having these meetings, having these conversations, it's definitely a step in the right direction. So hats off to you. All Thank the best so with much. Fire in the right. Ghetto. Um, I'm very excited to hear it and to share it with the people here on Afternoon Express. Thank you very much for everything. Really appreciate it. Siya bonga. Now, Mzanti, please do head over to our social media platforms and let us know if you are feeling this brand new single by Questa.